Grade 4, Quick 3, Quarter 4, The Importance of Water Cycle. Science teacher, Ms. Jean Laika T. Hovis. Good morning, class. I am Teacher Laika. Good morning, Teacher Laika. Kindly stand for our opening prayer. Okay, Tokyo, kindly lead the opening prayer. Okay, Teacher. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Do we have any absences today? Rio, kindly list down the names and give it to me later, okay? Class, did I give you an assignment yesterday? Yes, okay, kindly teacher. pass it in front. Okay, let's watch this video. The video is entitled, The Water Cycle. Are you familiar with that? I have no idea, teacher. Okay, class. I will play the video and after that, we will create a mind map using a Padlet. Are you familiar with that? No, teacher. On your cell phone, open your Google Classroom and click the link that I already posted. And it will bring you to the Padlet. Then, you'll post what comes into your mind after you watch the video. Are you ready? Yes. Tablets. The timer starts now. Okay, let's see your answers. Oh no! What I comes to the clouds? Yes, that's right. I thought also that water comes only through our house faucet. Me too, teacher. I used to think of it. That is okay, kids. Still, you are very good at listening. When the water is heated, it evaporates and comes to the clouds. Very good! You guys are so good in watching something! Evaporation! Condensation! Precipitation! It's great! That three words are the process of water cycle. Now, we can proceed to our lesson. The class will be divided into two. Please count off one to two. Group yourselves according to your number. Take a look at our screen. The first one is an illustration. And the first group are going to answer the following questions. And the activity one is entitled, How important am I in the environment? The next one, or the group two, will fill out the box to describe the importance of water cycle to each of the items in the table and answers the two questions. The activity 2 is entitled, Fill Me Out. You have 15 minutes to work on your task. Afterwards, one or two representatives of each group will present your work. Do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, you may start. You may start group 1. Job well done, group 1. Give them the angling clap. One, two, angaling. One, two, angaling. One, two, three, angaling, galing. Let's proceed to the last group. Job well done, last group. You've also got the correct answers. Give them the paro paro G clap. One, two, three. And give yourselves the fireworks clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Shh. Boom. Our topic for today is the importance of the water cycle. In the previous lesson, you have learned the different sources and uses of water. You have also learned the importance of water in our daily life activities. We all know that water is the very important resource in our day-to-day -day lives. But before water reaches your homes to be used for many purposes, do you know the processes behind it? This is the question that you are going to answer as you perform the activities and learn from this module. Now, let's start our discussion. First, what are the four processes of the water cycle? Any idea from the class? What is it? Evaporation, transpiration, condensation, and precipitation. Very good! That is right! The four processes involved in the water cycles are evaporation, transpiration, 
condensation and precipitation under transpiration is the respiration now let's define evaporation anyone yes berlin i think the process of turning from liquid into vapor excellent that is correct Evaporation means changing liquid water into water vapor or gas and rising into the atmosphere. Roughly 80% of all evaporation comes from the ocean while the remaining 20% comes to the inland water and plant vegetation. More evaporation happens, the temperature is high with fast wind speed. Okay, next is the transpiration. Transpiration occurs during evaporation process wherein the water particles are released from the leaves of the plants and vegetation. The rate of the transpiration gets higher and higher temperatures. The respiration occurs when animals and humans breathe out water particles through our lungs and, they, and when they sweat, which evaporates in the atmosphere in lesser amounts. Animals contribute to the water cycle through respiration, perspiration, and urination. Understood? Understand, teacher like Okay, the third one is the condensation. Very good. Any idea what is what the meaning of it? Okay, Nairobi, what's the answer? Condensation is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. Nice, you got it right. Condensation, it means the process of changing water vapor or gas into tiny droplets of liquid water in the form of clouds atmosphere. Condensation can be high in the atmosphere or at ground level. Water vapor condenses around tiny particles called cloud condensation nuclei or the CNN. The cloud condensation nuclei can sometimes be speak of dust, salt, or pollutants. As small water droplets, combined clouds develop and precipitation may occur. And what is the last one? Okay, also, what is it? Precipitation, teacher. Good job! Precipitation means the process by which the tiny condensed water droplets falls back into the earth's surface through rain, hail, snow, and sleet. Although there is continuous water cycle, you might wonder if there will come a time when we'll run out of water. Did you know that 97% of the water found in our surroundings is salty? Thus, only 3% of this water is fresh or potable. This very small amount of fresh water is 67% locked in the form of ice mainly found in Greenland and in Antarctic. Therefore, only about 1% of water is found in rivers, lakes, ponds, and in the atmosphere in the form of water vapor. These are the water cycle. The water cycle is important because it transforms salty water into fresh water during precipitation. It also known as the hydrologic cycle. Describes how water evaporates from the surface of the earth, rises into the atmosphere, cools and condenses into the clouds, and falls again to the earth's surface as precipitation in the form of rain, snow, or the water falling on the ground, cooling in the river and the lakes, soil, and porous rocks layers and much of it flows back into the oceans where it will once more evaporate. The cycling of the water in and out of the atmosphere is the significant aspect of weather patterns on Earth. So take a look at this table. This table is the importance of water cycles in human, plants, animals, and the environment. As you can see, the water cycle is important in human, plants, animals, and the environment because it is a continuous water supply. For humans, it is also a consumption and industrial use. Lastly, it improves health and hygiene practices. Next, for the plants, it helps the plants to be healthy growth. Lastly, it increases production or yield crops. For the animals, it is also important because the animals can be healthy growth. 
For the environment, it purifies water by eliminating pollutants. Next, it distributes water all over the BART surface. Lastly, it increases water storage as groundwater. Do you have any questions regarding our topic for today? No, teacher. Okay, for that, give yourself the Aling Janisha clock. One, two, three, one, two, three, very good, very good, very good. Since we're done discussing the processes and the importance of the water cycle, let's answer the following. Letter A, the directions. Choose from the box below the processes in the water cycle being described in each statement. Okay, number one, the process by which plants release water from their leaves. Transpiration. Okay, very good. Number two, the process by which the condensed water vapor falls back into the earth's surface in the form of rain, hail, snow, and sleet. Precipitation. Very good. Okay, number three, the process of changing water vapor or gas into tiny droplets of liquid water in the atmosphere. Condensation. Okay, good job. Number four, the process of changing liquid water into water vapor or gas which come from bodies of water and living things. Evaporation. Excellent. For our last number, number five. The process by which humans and animals breathe out water particles through their lungs and when they perspire. Respiration. Okay, good job. Okay, letter B. Water cycle challenge. Direction. Complete the missing pieces, drug, and drop the processes below to complete the water cycle. Then briefly describe each process in the space provided. Okay, number one. Transpiration. Okay, very good. Transpiration. How about number two and three? What process is it? And what's the meaning of it? Evaporation, teacher. It means liquid water from rivers, lakes, and oceans becomes water vapor. Very good. Evaporation. Number four and five. What process is it? Condensation, teacher. It means water vapor in the atmosphere changes to liquid and forms clouds, fog, and mist. Yes, that is condensation. Very good meaning. And last numbers, number 6 and 7, what is the last process of water cycle? Precipitation, teacher. It means liquid or solid water falls to the earth's surface as rain, snow, and hail. Very good. The last process of water cycle is precipitation. Good job. It looks like you have already know what is the four processes of water cycles. Bring your notebook and answer this activity 1 and activity 2. Directions. Briefly explain the processes involved in the water cycle. Write your answer in your science notebook. For our last activity, Put a check mark if it shows the importance of the water cycle and cross mark if it shows the effect of the absence of the water cycle. You have 10 minutes to work on your two activities and after that we will check your answers. Okay? Are you done? So what is the meaning of evaporation? Very good! Number 2, what is condensation? Good job! Number 3, what is precipitation? Very good! Number 4. What is transpiration? Very good! Number 5. What is respiration? For activity letter B. Number 1. Increase crop yield, crust, or chick. Very good! Number 2. Withered plants, crust, or or check. Very good. And number three, increase water storage. Check or cross. Number four, healthy animal plant growth. Check or cross. Very good. What about water storage? Very good. Less sickness in people. Very good. Okay, for your assignment, in your science notebook, briefly explain what you think or understand about each situation that relates to the processes in the water cycle. 
For your next assignment, describe the importance of the water cycle to humans, plants, animals, and the environment by filling out the concept map below. Do it in your science notebook. Now, let's have our closing prayer. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day, sharing your love with our teacher and classmates. Thank you for the strength and excellence you gave us to learn and understand our lessons. Thank you to our teachers, parents, and classmates who shared to us the joy of learning Amen. Again, I am Teacher Laika, your teacher in your science class. Goodbye and see you around, kids. Goodbye, Goodbye teachers. See you around.